this is going to catch a lot of people by surprise. It is all in the run-up where the money will be made. If you look at the rate of adoption that's going on of the entire crypto space, and this is my, this is my true north. This is all I need to know. There's one single thing I need to know and nothing else. So we know that it's growing at 113% a year in terms of number of users. And we will assume that over time, that trend rate of growth falls a bit. So if it falls from this year and goes down to 83%, so that's a significant fall in the growth rate. And we saw the internet do similar, but it was at peak growth was 63%, we're at 113. It gets by the end of 2024 to a billion people. And that gets us to about three or four billion people by 2027, 28. Okay, so a blind chimp can choose a cryptocurrency and get rich. If you look at the size of the assets, the entire crypto space as of today hit a two trillion again, I think. Global equities are about 200 trillion. Global bonds are like 200 trillion. Um, global real estate's about 100 trillion. 2 trillion, 200 trillion. I figure that's probably a 100x. And we all know, almost all of us, realize that all bonds, all securities, all assets are going on chain anyway. So it's probably even bigger than that. But the point being is that you'll never ever in your entire life ever again and ever beforehand were given 100x in an asset that's already up 2 million percent when you look at Bitcoin. You've never been given this. And you can basically choose anything and it will go up. So once you do that, you don't, you're not scared of making the wrong bet. And it stops you being tribal because within that, you know some of them are going to be amazing. You take the pressure off. You own a, you take some basic bets, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, a couple of others here and there. And then you can just have a basket of stuff and over time decide, okay, I quite like that or that's getting faster adoption. So then you start to look at like Solana is clearly getting adoption. It's clearly happening and it's clearly happening in the price. Okay, so do, do you want to own a bit more of that? Maybe. You know, is Polkadot getting to where it should be? Don't know yet, but it's worth keeping an eye on. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. And then, so that's how I tend to deal with it is forget trying to model it and look for fair values in this. It's like, as I said, you can be a three-year-old kid and be given a, a box of names of cryptocurrencies and take 10 out and you will literally make 30 times your money over the next 20 years and next 10 years. You've got this big thesis now, which is 100x the space in the shortest period of time. So then our job is, okay, how do I add alpha? Where do I find the better bets? Now, there will be probably 50 tokens or assets that will outperform Ethereum, but they're riskier. I don't know what they are. I have no, no, I have no ability to choose them. When you look at Ethereum, it has all of the elements of the lowest risk, highest quality trade. And it's, you know, it's a rewarding ecosystem with rewarding people in it because, you know, there's a social element to this. There's a cultural element to this movement as well. And it's rewarding. So it's, it's a good space to hang out where you feel comfortable with the asset you understand how many smart people are working on it. So when you say to me, oh, there's a risk in 1559 getting done, my answer was but the risk is like minuscule. And so I didn't care about it. Like ETH 2.0, it's minuscule. Why? Because there's a lot of very smart people, smarter than I'll ever be, working on it. So the probability is extremely high. And that's what that makes what makes ETH so rewarding. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel. This shows the algorithm that you value the information and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now let's continue. My guess is the moment ETH 2.0 happens, half of the ETH gets unlocked and it all comes onto the market and the price will collapse. It's typical. Yeah, and that's a short-term thing. It might be an overhang for a year. I mean, who the hell knows, right? But that's pretty obvious that this is the best single time. That's why I call it the greatest trade between now and and ETH 2.0. Everybody wants it to happen. They're going to lock up as much ETH as possible and get the yield. It's as simple as that. But when it comes out, chance ETH collapses. If you remember when Coinbase went public, everyone's like, this is so good for the space. Everyone's going to know about it. What did it do? Marked the exact high in Bitcoin. And I, I mentioned that on Twitter beforehand. I'm like, this is what it's going to do, and it will. And this will probably mark the high in ETH. People try and overthink everything. You know, ETH currently is a platform. That, that, that's how I think about it. You know, it's a platform from which to utilize their blockchain, transfer value, to store value, 
and to create applications on top. So, you know, is elements of it money as we talked about? Yes. Are elements of store store of value? Yes. Are elements pure technology? Yes. I mean, it's everything. So, you know, it kind of is still the vision that Vitalik had of the kind of internet computer. I mean, it is that, but that sounds a bit restrictive. It's kind of the, I call it the, the internet of value, and you could call it the platform of value. And it doesn't, it's not exclusive because others can do similar things, but nothing has the scale, the scope that, that Ethereum currently has. Um, so I was 100% crypto and I have been for a long time now. Um, my, I'm now, depending where we are today, 55% ETH, 25% Bitcoin, and then a tail of an equally weighted basket of a mix of DeFi protocols, layer ones, um, interoperability stuff, um, and then some specific bets in kind of social tokens, metaverse, and other longer term macro bets that I, that I want to express that view in. And, you know, I'm probably, I'm just following the chart very closely of the Bitcoin ETH cross, and I, I think it's about to explode higher again. So I may end up selling all of my Bitcoin, which is a weird thing. And again, I'm not anti Bitcoin, but I'll sell that by ETH. Price prediction has been ETH north of 20,000. And that's pretty simple. All I did is just map over the ETH chart to the Bitcoin 2017 chart. They work perfectly and it gives you 20,000. So, you know, there's no great science to that, but it feels about right. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with firsthand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just $1. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free insider club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.